It's like you always know when I'm about to go fishing and you just play the biggest sad. Look how sad you look. Hmm. Uh, so, first bit of fine weather and everybody's just all out putting peer pressure on with their lawnmowers, but today we're not going to cave. Going to go and do a longer form edition of the first video that we actually ever shot on the channel, which is called 12 Second Trout. You stay home. Yo. Cheers. Ah. As you saw last time, we made little ones stay home um, because filming and fishing uh, is so close to the road on a highway and in the heat of the sun where all the snakes are going to be. It's just, just not a good combination for Anara to be involved in. So. I'm going to be solo on this one. I'm going to go check out a few places really close to the road. Probably places that if anyone's in Tassie has been, you'll drive straight past them on your way to more better known waters. So a good little rest stop to sort of pull over and just have a look and see what's literally just under your feet. Anyway, bear with us and we'll see you when we get to the first spot. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Badger River. This is where I caught my first um, trout on film for a 12 second trout, which I filmed nearly two years ago to the day. Let's go have a look. Alright, well, so far everyone has looked at me like, who is this Muppet? What is he up to? Joke's on you guys, you're driving past some good fishing, but then again, joke may be on me. Across here, this is my favorite little spot. I fish from the road to start with. a little one. Well, right, let's see if we can convince him. I butchered that. Didn't butcher that though. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Told you. Finicky. so bad. I always just check your leader every half a dozen casts or so for wind knots. Alright, if 
I uh, cleaned up every bit of rubbish that I see in this video, I would never be able to wet a line. So what I'm going to try and endeavour to do is that every time I stop, I'll find something and bring it back with me. So we've got our Woody there. He can come with us. Let's give him a shake, make sure there's no unfriendlies in that. All right. Yeah, the motto, guys. Leave it a better place than you find it. I can go there. Alright, second stop is um, either the Badger River a little bit further up or uh, possibly a small feeder stream which flows into it. We crossed this about three times on the way up here. Hopefully if that wind dies off I can get the drone up um, and I'll give you a look at exactly what I mean but it sort of just snakes its way in and out of the road. Alright, let's go again. I'll just sneak over here and see what we can see first. Yes, hello car. Uh, there's nothing there that I can see. That's not to say that they're not there or that they've already seen us coming. As always, watch out for snakes. God, could you imagine Nara in this stuff? Yuck. Uh, Alright, we'll deal with that when we get back. Yeah, come on with me, Florod. Uh, further up there. Hopefully nothing just spooked. I'm going to try and get a crouch down here. Let's see what we can... There it goes. Damn. Oh, it may not have spooked everything. That's promised. Like I say, we kind of clean it all up. We can have a red hot go. Just do one or two things every time. What do you think you're doing? It's way too early for March flies. How'd you get? Go on, disappear. Get out. Shoo. Get out. There you go. On to the next one. Reasons I didn't bring a Nara. Yuck. Well, we'll get this out of the way first. Swerved at me. That was a bit weird. Uh, it looks promising. The amount of litter on the side of these roads is absolutely disgusting. It's such a shame. Oh, here we go. That's a jack jumper nest. These guys are pretty intelligent. They actually thermoregulate, so. See all the white rocks on there now. That's to try and dissipate the heat because the, uh, the sun's beating down on them. But in the winter time, they'll change those out and they'll put a whole bunch of black rocks on top, try and absorb whatever uh, whatever light and heat they can from the sun. Try and keep their nest warm. All right, let's have a look at this little gutter and see what happens. Down there. Not much going on, or they've already spooked. I'd say not much going on. Let's walk up and see what's going on up here. It might not even be a fertile stream. It doesn't appear that this fish is sitting in it at this moment, but who knows? Zane Ruby lets a touch polluted, uh, not much in there in the lot fish. So we're going to push on and we're going to go to, pretty sure it's called Dundas Ruby Lake. 
pretty sure. Ha! I'm the best. It is indeed. Right. Did you go anywhere, fish? Not the order if you could. Hope you guys saw that. Come back for another go. Come back. Ah, oh, that's spooky. That's a shame. He was a beautiful looking fish. So glad this is an outdoor channel and not a uh, catching channel. Whew. Right, Westaway Creek. Watching out for snakes. Oh, this one's nearly impossible. In fact, I reckon even by walking up on it, we've spooked everything in this creek. What a beautiful little spot. Yeah, I'm not gonna try that top side. I'll try the bottom side. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, not much either. Not worth looking at this one. Just for the simple fact that it's so enclosed and I don't know, somebody more skilled than me would be able to pull it off, but ouch! Ah oh. oh that hurts. Ah, ah. ah damn. Oh, glass. Ah. Oh, that went clean through the wading boot. I really hope it hasn't cut my foot, but I think it has. That's a real disappointment. At the very least, my wading boot's ruined. At the very worst, I'm gonna need stitches. I'll get back in the car and have a look. Ha <laughs> ha. 